Perfume, Eyeshadow, Foundation Lipstick. They're all products of a global industry driven by our desire for beauty. But with over 50 ingredients going into some products, most of them destined to be slavered over our bodies, this industry needs to work to the highest of standards. Cosmetics have been in existence since the dawn of time. There are many ingredients that make up a cosmetic formula. The industry relies heavily on iron oxides to colour its products in a multitude of tones. Before moving into fabrication, each ingredient must be carefully and accurately weighed. These raw materials are often dry, such as powder, but can be also liquid, even oil or wax. Every ingredient will have first been approved by the Quality Control Laboratory. A single formula may contain over 50 ingredients. The other essential ingredient is water. The water used in making cosmetics is first purified by an inverse osmosis system. Depending on the complexity of the recipe, between 4 and 10 hours of work are needed to make up a product. Take a bubble bath recipe. A part of the recipe is prepared in an adjoining container to make certain ingredients more soluble. A stainless steel screw propeller mixes all the ingredients thoroughly. At each step, each product will be subjected to many tests. Here an acid-based neutralization reaction test is performed with a colour indicator. The bubble bath has to be coloured. A fragrance and colour are added. In this case, the final product will be mauve. Before the filling process, the quality control and microbiology laboratories make sure that the product meets strict quality standards. Now it's on to the next step. This filler can simultaneously fill up to 12 700 milliliter bottles at a steady pace of 50 per minute. The fill level is adjusted electronically. Capping remains to be done. This capper positions and tightens the caps automatically. Urethane rollers apply the precise tightening force. The bottles now pass beneath the sealer via induction which generates a magnetic field, heating the metal piece placed in the cap. When hot enough, it welds itself onto the neck of the bottle. Another product made here is the peeling mask. The mask is poured into this funnel, whose end is attached to the tube filler pipe. The product descends via gravity. The filler pours the peeling mask into 50 tubes each minute. Then with heat and crimping, the tube end is sealed and the tubes head for packaging. Other products made here, cologne and perfume water. The liquid is drawn into the bottle by suction. Bottles are positioned beneath the 16 filling spouts, which seal their opening to allow for the creation of a vacuum, which draws in the product. Now atomizer pumps are inserted. Handling two bottles simultaneously, this machine seals the pump, securing it around the neck of the bottle. The white sleeve aligns the pump, while the grey one tightens them. Then there are the sprayers. This machine applies the spray stoppers and with a hammer presses them onto the pumps of the bottles, which are now finished. And one final product, roll-on deodorants. This machine fills 115 bottles a minute, handling eight bottles at a time. A filling stem pours the product into the bottle and here they place the roller ball at 115 per minute. Then the ball is lightly pressed into the cavity in which it turns freely. This plant makes over 1,200 different products each year and sells 32 million items.